external factors. For more videos like this one, please visit www.sensebusiness.co.uk. Businesses can't control external factors but must respond to them. These political, economic, social, technological, environmental and competitive factors are represented by the acronym PESTEC. Businesses operate in an ever-changing world. External factors are things outside a business that will have an impact on its success. Their impact can be positive or negative. A business cannot control external factors. All it can do is react to them and make decisions to help it remain successful. The acronym PESTEC is used to help remember the different types of external factors. These are political, like new legislations, economic, like inflation and unemployment, social, changes in taste and fashion or the increase in spending power of one group, for example, older people, technological, for example, being able to sell goods online or using automation in factories, Environmental, for example, weather conditions affecting sales or production and growing interest in being green, for example, by recycling. Competitive, the impact of a rival firm which may have a similar product or which may lower its prices. Each of the external factors can affect a business positively or negatively. In some cases, it can even be both. Political factors, political factors involve the decisions and laws the government makes. These include tax, laws and political stability tax governments can raise or lower corporation tax which will impact on profits they can also affect businesses by increasing value-added tax on products or business rates laws they can bring in new laws like the national minimum wage which impacts on profits and employment rights governments can also introduce new health and safety legislations meaning that a business has to change the way it works for example by training its staff Political stability. The vote to leave the European Union, also known as Brexit, will have an impact on the way UK's firms trade with the European Union single market. The impact may be negative in case of a loss of trade with the European Union customers, or positive, less restrictions placed on firms by the European Union lawmakers. For example, Scottish fishermen hope that leaving the European Union will help boost their industry. On the other hand, the UK-based car manufacturers are worried about losing out on free access to wealthy customers in France and Germany. Economic factors Economic factors are all concerned with the so-called levers of the economy. These include economic growth, interest rates, unemployment, inflation, and exchange rates. Economic growth If there is economic growth, then more jobs will be created and more tax will be paid. Interest rates when interest rates are high, businesses borrow less and invest less. However, they receive more interest on money saved in the bank. When interest rates are low, businesses may borrow and invest more, but will receive less interest on money in the bank. Unemployment If unemployment is high, then firms have more potential workers to choose from. More competition for jobs means that it is easier for a business to keep their wages down. If the rate of unemployment is low, then businesses will have to offer higher competitive wages to secure new employees. Inflation When inflation is high, prices rise and customers may stop buying luxury goods and focus on essentials. Exchange rates Exchange rates can rise or fall. When there is a fall in the pound, it has both negative and positive impacts on the business. When the exchange rate for pound falls, it becomes weak. A weak pound makes our goods cheaper to sell abroad. However, if the UK firm needs to buy in raw material from abroad, then the weak pound buys less, making the cost of production higher. This extra cost may be passed on to the customer, resulting in higher prices. Social factors Social factors are the things that affect the habits and spending of customers. These include demographics, lifestyles, tastes and trends. Demographic change a demographic change is most commonly used to reflect changes in population such as birth rate, life expectancy, and levels of immigration. For example, statistical evidence shows that the UK population is aging. This demographic information is useful for firms who provide products and services for older people and is an indicator of the strength of grey pound. The UK's aging population is an example of a demographic change. Lifestyles Lifestyles are changing too. We are more health conscious, so healthy foods and habits are becoming more important to the customers. Food packaging lists nutritional information. More electronic products such as pedometers and fitness trackers are being used. Tastes and trends Tastes and trends are also changing constantly. 
For example, loom bands became the biggest selling toy of 2014 but fell from popularity the following year. Fidget spinners grew rapidly in popularity over a matter of months in 2017. Technological factors Technological factors refers to the way new practices and equipment can affect businesses. These include ICT, research and development, automation, and e-commerce. Automated car production is an example of a technological factor. ICT ICT can make processes and communication within a business quicker and more efficient. Firms also need to keep their software and hardware up to date. If they don't, they risk being seen as old-fashioned by customers and are in danger of becoming obsolete. Research and Development Research and Development R&D, refers to the steps businesses take in the innovation of new products, systems, and services. In recent years, research and development has led to the introduction of 3D printers, smartphones, tablets, and a multitude of apps. Innovations can have a major impact on firms and sometimes can destroy our traditional business. For example, Kodak used to produce and sell 80% of the world's film for cameras, but the invention of digital cameras has caused the market for camera film to shrink dramatically. Automation Automation refers to the introduction of machines to do work that was previously done by people. For example, the introduction of self-scan checkouts in supermarkets means that fewer employees are needed on the tilts. With driverless cars and deliveries by the drone on the way, businesses will need to think about how many people they employ and which new jobs will be needed to support advances in technology. For example, a growth area of the future is expected to be nanotechnology, which will see devices such as electronic circuits being built from single atoms and molecules. E-commerce More and more firms are getting online. This widens the number of customers and lowers the cost of production, but it's highly competitive. Environmental factors Environmental factors cover two main aspects, the physical conditions that a business has to deal with, such as climate change and weather, and the green credentials of global business, including recycling and pollution. The weather can have a major impact on the firm's sales. Many products and services are seasonal, and good summers means the increase in sales of fizzy drinks and suntan lotion. Major natural disasters can have a devastating impact on companies. The car firm Toyota was badly affected by the tsunami that struck Japan in March 2011. This, along with the nuclear crisis at Fukushima, caused massive disruption to supplies and production. Toyota and many other leading Japanese firms will be dealing with the effects for many years to come. Green Credentials Being a green firm is also important. Firms that recycle goods will attract customers who want to buy from companies that are environment-friendly. Firms that work to minimize their carbon footprint or to cut down on pollution to rivers and the environment may also be more attractive to customers who are interested in the environment. Causing environmental damage may have a negative impact on a business. In 2010, an explosion on a drilling rig operated by the gas and petroleum company BP resulted in 210 million gallons of oil being spilled into the Gulf of Mexico. This caused extensive damage to the Gulf's wildlife and marine life and was disastrous for BP's own public image. Competitive factors Competitive factors cover how businesses who offer similar products or services affect each other. These include imitators, price wars, and product differentiation. Imitators When a successful product is introduced, rival organizations will often respond by trying to undercut it quickly by producing cheaper alternative versions. Price wars Companies may start a price war in order to gain customers and increase their market. A price war happens when companies compete for customers by dropping their prices below the rate of their competitors. A price war can be good for the customers as they can get the goods and services they want at lower prices. In a price war, prices can drop so low that none of the competing companies can make much of a profit on the goods. Size of a competitor The size of a competitor may also affect a business. A small furniture shop may find itself in trouble if a new IKEA opens up near it. IKEA can buy their supplies and manufacture products in bulk which reduces costs. They can pass on these cheaper prices to the customers. Supermarkets have a competitive advantage over smaller grocery stores as they are able to offer loss leaders to attract customers. This is when goods and services are advertised and sold below cost price. Its purpose is to attract customers into the supermarket on the assumption that they will go and buy other products at full price. Large supermarkets are able to deal with these losses because they are small amounts compared to the business's overall profits. A small grocery, however, may struggle to balance additional costs like this. Product differentiation Businesses can become more competitive by making products that stand out from the competition in terms of price, quality, or service. This is called product differentiation. Methods of product differentiation Methods of creating product differentiation include 
establishing a stronger brand image for a good or service, making the unique selling point of a good or service clear, for example, opening a chain of discount shops with the tagline, quality items under a pound. Other competitive factors such as a product having a better location, design, appearance or price than the rivals. We have prepared 10 questions for you. Please visit the link below to test yourself. Thank you for watching. For more videos like this one, please visit www.sensebusiness.co.uk.